Hello, everyone. This is Karen Cornell, your Creative Memories Advisor, and I'm coming to you today to talk about templates. Um, recipe templates can be very intimidating, and um, but once you get into them and you try them, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, these are not that hard. Um, and you will get so much faster at them. I remember my first template, I really think it took me like two hours to get through it. But then now, I mean, I did this one in 15 minutes this morning um, before the kids got up. So while I was baking biscuits. So anyway, so um, my first tip is as soon as you get it, you want to save this. Do not throw this away. And you want to trace it. Trace it with a pencil so that you have everything. You have the template. And if you can see it, there's a glare. But I have the template um, traced on here so I know where to put my pieces. Um, I store all my templates because I realized I kept them in, um, they come in this sticky bag, which is really annoying. Um, this creative memories bag that's sticky. And so I realized that I never use them because they were such a pain to get out and get back in because they would stick and then it was just a mess. The bag would tear. It, it was just awful. And I didn't want these to, you know, they can bend, but you just don't want them to break. So I actually, once I put them in my binder, which I labeled recipe templates, um, I store them all in here. And then I use them because I just slide them in and out. And it's so much easier. Yes, I have a ton of templates. Um, but this is, I, I actually use them now um, and I can find them and come up with ideas like, Recipe templates are perfect for title pages. And that's what we're going to do today is I have um, Madison's preschool or a pre-K album. And yes, I took a ton of pictures because it was during COVID and the teachers sent home uh, daily pictures of the kids and of what they did. And I was like, oh my gosh, I actually get to see what my child does at school. So it was amazing. But um, so I have um, a whole album for her pre-K. Um, but they were really good pictures. So I actually, I don't like this page. This is a, from a Fast and Fabulous album. And um, and I didn't like this. So guess what? It's just going to be a white page. And that's what I did. Um, I made it become my white page. So um, for my title page. So what we're going to do is we're going to assemble this. Um, when you type out your, just this is just a little tip. When you're using these templates, you want to put this book down. You're gonna lay down if you want your leaf to be on this side and you want this green, but you don't want to see the pencil marks, here's what you do. You flip it both. Flip it both slide this under, then you're gonna trace and you just trace all around here, the parts that you want traced, and then you'll be able to cut it and it'll be in the direction that you want it to be. So that's just a little tip. Um, Creative Memories does have, like you can write top or bottom or all this stuff, but all of the templates do have um, Creative Memories um, cut into it. So. I'm pretty sure y'all are very smart and can know that Creative Memories um, is either written backwards or forwards or upside down. So um, I don't write top. Some people say, oh, well, you need to write top on it, which I do not because I don't see messing it up. I like clean things. So um, so that's this. Now, I, I went ahead and cut everything. And then now I'm going to assemble it. So I'm going to take my little handy dat bandy thing. And we are going, I have, this is my center. Now, when, when you use the template, use your straight trimmer as much as possible. So this is a four by six photo on the inside. So if you're cutting it, this is a quarter of an inch. So you're going to have to cut a quarter of an inch off of that if you just want to use the four by six. Um, this is a five by seven. So you're actually cutting four and three quarters by six and three quarters so that you still have that, this little part right here. So, cause if you didn't, 
I only want to do the, the clear part on the inside because I still want to have this border around. If it was five by seven, it would cover all of this um, as well, okay? So we've got this goes here, but always, always the, the way to save your time and your life and make your life easy is to always um, use a, a straight trimmer as much as possible. And then we've got these pieces. Go here. And I have these. And if you're cutting a picture, you want to use a photo pencil on, a, on your picture and it will erase um, very easily. So off of your photo. There's that, and then a little, little, there's my stem. Nope, that's the wrong stem. I'll put that one backwards. Where's the right stem? I'll find it. It's on here somewhere. Or else I'll just cut another one. And my photo is going to go here. Here it is. And there's my stem. And then this is going to be my backdrop. So we take out. And I work out of an album most of the time. So we're gonna take this and slide this over here. And we're gonna open this up and we're gonna tape this down. Yep. Um, but these te recipe templates are great for title pages. They're great for a one-off page. Like if you're completely just, you have just a one page, but it's a, and maybe you just have one photo from an event. Um, a recipe template is great for that. Now I take my, my template, I'm gonna take my little clip, And you just attach them just right to the page. And I'm just going to use two so that I can yeah, slide this over. So make sure it's centered and straight. Okay. So that I can do this kind of stuff. Okay. That's what I like. So then I use repositionable um, on here. And so then I just center it in here. And see, when you have it all laid out next to you already, you don't have to stress because about, oh, is this the right piece? This one is not so difficult to put together. But you know, when you have a lot of straight lines, um, they can get kind of tricky. Thank you for your patience on this. And then if you're cutting on your, on your uh, cardstock or drawing on your cardstock, like I, accidentally drew on the wrong side. I forgot to flip it. So I need to erase that little mark there and it's totally fine. Just use a white eraser because it won't take the cut, the pigment out of the paper. The white erasers are best, but erasers sometimes are personal preference. Some people have very, they have big attachments to certain erasers. I don't like how that one's sitting. So I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, then we have to add. And see, this is where my handy dandy silicone mat would come in handy right here to get these little pieces. So I put that in there. See what I mean where I can just like throw it everywhere? It's just awesome. I love it. And then we're gonna do with this. Mm 
Final piece. And then, see, this can't go on top because it has some other pieces cut out. So then I just take this. And this is where I pick this up and I line it up. That's why we have it so we can pick it up and down. Now, are you ready to see it? See how fast this is? This is not hard at all, y'all. Don't be scared of them. And then we add our photo. And I actually may do a, a little tiny white mat underneath that. Um, and then I think I'm going to like do some lettering put and put pre-K up here and the date. But is that not adorable? Or I may put it right here. Um, I love it. So there's a glare. But uh, there we, there was no glare. Is that not so easy? Great first page. Look at how it goes with the album cover. Love the colors. So I had a dream. That's what I wanted. So um, now my album's done. Yay. Okay. So once I title it, but um, super easy. Don't be scared of recipe templates. And so then, then all you do is you put this back together like this and slide it in your sleeve. Um, so great. Um, another way, another thing you could use are those new sleeves. Um, you could put several of these if you don't have a ton and you don't want to use a binder for it, use those sleeves that we have. Um, trying to find one right now that I can grab for you. Um, but we have those those sleeves that we can just that just came out that come five in a pack for $20. Put all your recipe templates in that. That's a great use of that item, um, of that product. A lot um, more cost effective than a binder if you don't have a ton of them. If you only have like, you know, a several, um, use a sleeve because then then they stay nice. They're easy to access. They can stay together like this. It's great. Love it. So um, this is recipe templates. I hope you have a great day. Bye.